local passengers who were on that bus when it crashed are starting to arrive back here in Cleveland. Channel 3's Kristen Anderson is live at the Greyhound bus station. And Kristen, you spoke with some of the passengers who are getting back here. How are they holding up? Well, as you can imagine, it has been a roller coaster for, of emotions for everybody out here. Passengers didn't start arriving until about, about an hour ago. Six of those passengers are going to stay here in the Cleveland area. Others have gotten tickets in their boarding buses and going elsewhere. One passenger that we talked to says she was talking to her mom on the phone when the bus crashed. She says the impact was so strong that passengers went flying. I blacked out and I woke back up and um, blood was driven from my face. I heard people screaming. The guy that was sitting next to me wasn't sitting next to me. He was, um, I found out um, on our way back here, he was found, he was all the way up front towards the front of the bus. He called and I answered and at first she didn't say anything. And then I just heard a bunch of screaming and the lady was like, we were in an accident. And I just kept calling my daughter's name and Now, thankfully, she is going to be okay. She has cuts to her face. She has some bruising on her body, but she says she is so, so thankful to have survived this crash. There is a second bus that's going to be coming in. We believe it left Lewisburg around 2 o'clock this afternoon, so it should be arriving here between 7 and 9 o'clock tonight. Reporting live at the Greyhound Bus Depot, I'm Kristen Anderson, Channel 3 News. Well, you can tell people are still kind of in shock over all this. Okay, thank you, Kristen.